Hey everyone, this is Brian with TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to install a ROM using the bootstrapper recovery option. Alright, before we begin obviously to install a ROM you need to have a rooted device and then also you needed to have installed the bootstrapper application. Now we're going to show you kind of how this works two ways. If you watched our review on how to install and set up the bootstrapper application with uh, clockwork mod recovery uh, you'll see that we kind of had two parts uh, one you could stop with just the application but that didn't give you clockwork mod recovery uh, available when you actually booted your device you have to actually boot up into your ROM and then select uh, reboot to recovery so if we go in here and we look at our bootstrap recovery you'd have to click bootstrap recovery and then you would have to hit reboot recovery and that'll take you into clockwork mod and that's fine for flashing ROMs and things like that the problem is if you have a boot loop or something goes wrong and the, the ROM doesn't load properly you really have no way you may be caught in a boot loop and you may have to fast boot you know or fast uh, use the uh, fast boot files to get your phone back online so it's not the best solution in the world having just an application uh, controlling your recovery but that's why we uh, we went through with our video and showed you how to make it persistent so if you didn't check out that video uh, go ahead and do so what we're going to do right now is we're going to reboot our phone just power off and then as soon as this uh, the screen goes dark we're going to go ahead and power it back on And then you can see, I mean, we didn't press anything inside that uh, bootstrapper application itself. So when it boots back up for us, it's going to go ahead and load up Clockwork Mod Recovery, and we don't have to do anything, and it's actually going to give us this option every single time we reboot our phone. And that should be coming up just in here in a second, and then we'll proceed with how to actually flash a ROM using this recovery software. Alright, so now that we're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, first of all, if you're familiar with Clockwork Mod on any other devices, it's going to be pretty much the same here, same menu structure, same everything. Uh, so, uh, you know, wiping your data, doing a factory reset, uh, installing a new ROM, backing up, restoring, all of that's going to be pretty much exactly what you're used to. If you're new to it, obviously we're going to walk you through how to flash this ROM. Um, first thing I would like to mention is if the developer has specific requirements and, and specific step-by-step -step instructions for installing this in terms of uh, you know whether or not you're supposed to format the, uh, the data and cache partitions, whether or not you're supposed to wipe the system partition, uh, your Dalvik cache, um, anything that you're that the dev of the actual uh, ROM you've downloaded. Um, that that needs to be followed because different ROMs act differently. Uh, the next thing is when you download your ROM, you need to get it to your SD card. Uh, so if you download it on your phone, obviously you're going to have to transfer it to your SD card. If you downloaded it on a computer, obviously you're just going to want to uh, you know eject your SD card and uh, you know transfer it that way, or you could hook up your uh, your data sync cable and transfer it that way. So once you get your ROM that you want to install on your SD card, uh, and you're 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 actually uh, going to follow the the developers instructions for how to do this we're going to be installing the Arctic ROM and so we're going to follow uh, those instructions here so the first thing you're going to want to do uh, if you're installing the Arctic ROM is you're going to wipe data do a factory reset so you click your power button there brings you this confirmation screen click your power button again and then it's going to go ahead and wipe your device and once your factory reset is completed, go ahead and wipe your cache partition. And then scroll down using your volume down. Press power to confirm. And this is a little bit shorter. That last one took about a minute. This should take yeah, 10 to 15 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. And then once this is done, then we're going to go ahead and flash the actual ROM. Okay, so now to flash the ROM, we're going to go down to install zip from SD card. So scroll down there, power button, 
Now we're going to choose zip from SD card. And then right here, we're going to see, uh, let's see, the Arctic version 2.3.0, which I believe there's a, uh, a newer version out, but uh, obviously it's going to be the same thing, just a little bit updated version. So go ahead and click on that. Same thing, you're going to need to scroll down here and confirm that you want to install that file. Click that, and it's going to go ahead and install. All right, that ROM actually took a little bit longer than most. Uh, if it appears that it's hung up, don't worry. Um, it's probably just taking a while to process all of the files. So uh, don't get discouraged if you've been sitting there for two minutes and you're not seeing any progress. And you, you start thinking maybe your phone's not acting right. Just give it time. Let, let the uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery do its thing. And uh, I've never had it uh, freeze in the middle of an install. So uh, even if it does appear to be slow, just press forward and, and give it some time. Now that we've done that, now we're going to actually uh, reboot our phone. So to do that, we need to go to the previous menu. So just scroll down to go back, press your power key. Now we've got at the very top, it says reboot system now. Go ahead and press your power key again. And now your phone's going to go ahead and reboot. And we'll let it play through so you can see the new boot animation and all that. Once, uh, once the phone actually comes back up, Go ahead and give it just a few minutes uh, without touching it. Just once it comes back up to the lock screen, just let it sit there for a few minutes and let it uh, just kind of settle in. Uh, with a new ROM, it's always best to give it just a few minutes to let the uh, let the files kind of settle in, let the phone do its thing. Uh, we're probably going to be greeted with a with an Android uh, you know guide, just like you did when you got your phone, where it wants you to set up all your accounts and all that stuff. You can see that's a new boot animation. That's not the stock uh, Droid Razor boot animation. And then we'll pick it back up once we uh, once we come back up to the new ROM. All right, and here we are at the uh, welcome screen for our new ROM. Go ahead and press the Droid here. Get this guy going. We're gonna skip all this just so we get to the home screen.